really doing their best, you know. Anyway, so my heart grew 10 times this day. But I want to tell you this. Um, on our uh, meatballs, meatless meatballs, let's just call them veggie balls, shall we? I don't even like the word meat. I don't like to say, oh, well, let's, let's scoop out the meat of the coconut or it I don't want to say it okay so anyway the veggie balls in there in your food processor this is what I put the whole recipe has one fourth cup of chia seeds okay I used white because that's what I had on hand three cups of um, chopped carrots three and a half cups of baby spinach packed okay one cup of sun-dried tomatoes that I had soaked and drained so they were plumped up a little bit um, one half to three fourths tablespoon of cumin and then also that amount of chili powder depending on how well you like that spice and you can use another spice it would totally change up the flavor of the, uh, the veggie balls so then we had one half cup of the dulse you can use flakes or you can use the seaweed and I'm going to show you that in a minute one half tablespoon of garlic powder or use garlic cloves would probably be better but I didn't have any on hand one half of a large lemon peeled three dates okay you are going to pulse all that until it's really blended well open it up and keep on scooping down the sides until it's really a good consistency to where it looks like um like you were going to make meatballs okay really squished together so that you can't really tell the difference in like the spinach and the carrots and the tomatoes okay then you're going to take i used a 10 ounce package of already cut small baby portobello mushrooms you're going to put those in there and you're going to pulse it you want to leave you want to get that blended good i don't mean leave it in big chunks but you want to have a little bit of texture as if um you're having the, the meatballs you know okay so that's what we did then I took um, my dehydrator is on about 110 degrees and it's been going for a couple of hours so what I did was I put about one and a half tablespoons or I didn't want it to have to dehydrate too long so one and a half to two tablespoons of the mixture into my hand and I um, I balled it up okay and then I put it down on the dehydrator sheet with the Teflex sheet on there or you can use parchment paper that's so it won't ooze through the grid that comes in the dehydrator so I did that I spaced them apart they're gonna draw up so you can put them pretty close this made a lot okay I slid it in there then a couple of hours later when I felt like um, they were more solid like I could kind of pick them up off the thing but not quite so then I took another dehydrator tray, put it down. Okay, so here's what we have. We have the dehydrator tray with the parchment, the Teflex sheets and the, the balls on there. Then we have just a dehydrator tray with the grid, okay? So put that down on top of it so the grid goes on top and then flip it over. Therefore, you can take off the tray, peel back the Teflex sheets and then you just have the veggie balls on the grid so you get better airflow okay they were already formed into balls I also made some of those I did about two and a half to three tablespoons and I tried to make those into patties to see if I can make like a veggie burger type thing so we'll see how those turn out and I had already flipped those in the same manner so that's what we're gonna do you can taste the batter ahead of time and see how it tastes um you know what that um no that's all it had was the one fourth cup of chia seeds and all those meatballs you're not going to eat them all and then in all the sauce you only had one tablespoon of almond butter and by the way if you want to cut your fat even more in the sauce um you can leave that out it's still very flavorful okay um but i knew i was going to be able to have some of both of those so i was going to need both uh, that amount of fat do you see what I mean so this is what we're doing and then um I got some what did I get oh yes cell bell peppers because I can slice those down the side and add a little garnish on top with and that's a little extra little flavor punch so see y'all back in the kitchen 
Hey, hey, welcome back to the kitchen of love and light where you, you are in the kitchen with the veggie balls. Okay, can you enjoy those? Look at that. These are, look, look at it, okay? They're a great consistency. They're still warm too. Can y'all see there's not really good light in here today, but um, let me try to fix this. I usually have, we can see a little better, can't we? Okay, so here's what we have. First of all, these are the Dulce um, leaves that I'm telling y'all about, okay? They're raw and organic, all uh, natural, no preservatives, wild hand harvested, which means that people are, that are weirded out by seaweed that's harvested by nets and things that fish can get caught in, the likelihood of that is very small. Probably the same as if you're eating wheat or rice and the big turner things in the field are gathering that up. You know, there's going to be a mouse in the way sometimes. You, you can't help it, but you're not going to just throw that into your rice mixture because it was already in there. You're just not going to eat it. But you see what I you see? They look like this, okay? Um, but I want to show you, this is also the sauce. Look at the sauce, how very decadent. Do y'all see? Okay. Again, with the noodles, I, this is a little bit dirty. And look, I just made these with the same Titan peeler. Here it is. It's still dirty because I just used it. I'm always, I should clearly be selling these things. But as you see, they have little bitty slits. And I was talking to somebody this morning and they were like, well, how do you use that? Well, pretty much you just slide it down the side. Do you know what I mean? Like these noodles right here, I made all these noodles in like one minute, okay? Let me show you some. Hang on just a sec. Christopher, can you entertain the friends while I'm talking? Why? He can entertain y'all for one minute, okay. So let's just say we have a carrot. All right. This is just for demonstration because I would wash these, okay? But look, you're just gonna take it down the side. Don't let this knuckle get in the way right there, but you just pretty much, do you see how that makes noodles? Look, do y'all see? It's that easy, okay? Let me show you something else. Go around it like this, and when it gets real skinny and you think you can't cut anymore, here's what you're gonna do. Um, let me see if I can sit you on something. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so you would pretty much put it down in there, and you would like pull pull the carrot to you. Do you see what I'm saying? Or what? I don't know if you can see that. Do you see? You're you're giving the base is is the bowl or whatever you have it on. You can have it on your cutting board or whatever. But the point is, it's not gonna hit your hand. Okay, so it's not hazardous. Um, Anyway, so that's how you do it. So let me show you what this looks like plated up. Again, um, see, I don't know. this video is much longer than I had in mind, and y'all just have to be patient. After all, it's Christmas. Be gracious, right? Okay, so we have our spinach going in there because we always want the greens. Anytime you can get the greens, right? Then we're going to want... The noodles, of course. Do y'all see? That was a lot of noodles. But And what I usually do, if I was going to eat this right now, I would take my scissors and just chop it a couple of times. And that way it wouldn't be so hard to eat. Okay. Then we have our sauce going on. Let's just have some of that on there. See, I'm plating this up for Instagram because this is fabulous. And I want to share it with the world, right? Okay, then we have a little bit of green peppers, and I also have a little bit of red onion. Whoa, these things are very strong. Okay, then on top of that, can y'all see? On top of this, we're going to have a couple of the little meatballs, and let's make them look cute because we want people to come over from Instagram and see how easy and delicious raw food can be, right? All right, Th these are warm. Are y'all impressed? I'm impressed with this came up with this recipe myself. Okay, so here we go. Let's wipe our hands. This is what it looks like. Let me show you. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? And really, I wanna tell you what these taste like too, okay? Let's see what they look like if they were like cut. Let's see what the inside looks like, shall we? Okay, so as you see, they're kind of moist on the inside. Not moist, but softer, okay? 